Hey everybody, it's Buzz. Uh, you can't really tell, but I'm up here in Colorado uh, on my way back home. So here's your instant reaction. Three things, FC Dallas versus FC Juarez. Uh, don't kid yourself. Dallas just lost to a team that hasn't won a League MX game since April. So that's a terrible, terrible form performance. Uh, number one, man of the match, uh, Seekin Sebling. He was asked to do a flex left midfield attacking mid kind of thing, which meant that he ran more than everybody else until he got subbed out of the game. So. That's why he's made the match. So that tells you something about the level of performance FC Dallas had. Number two, that tactical flex was an absolute disaster. The idea was a base 3-5-2 with Siki flexing wide in the midfield and, the, and then Sam Juga dropping back into the back four. But that meant that Sebastian Nibiaga was playing right back uh, for most of the game because FC Juarez had, uh, at least until they all the changes happened later in the second half, had the bulk of possession. So Nibiaga played the bulk of the game at right back. And Omar's cheating out that way because he's not a right back. And that leaves... Uh, Marco Farfan isolated on War as a center forward who he loses track of and that guy scores the goal and that's the game. And that's all she wrote. That, that's the first time that Peter Lucene's done something that made me scratch my head and go, what WWF is he doing? I have no idea what that was about. It did not work. It was a disaster. Uh, number three, and late on, of course, Dallas is loading guys on, putting everybody on, trying to get forward. They, they end up getting four shots over the last 20 minutes or something. But the entire second half, when you needed to make a bunch of changes to try and do something offensive, they only managed one shot on target. They had no idea how to do anything through midfield other than lump it up front and hope that Musa or uh, Farrington could do something with it. And with against the pre two pretty good center backs and some big defenders and some a team that knows how to kill a game off, they just had nothing. So that was a really, really poor performance of the Dallas's part across the board. And uh, I don't know what to say about it except uh, enjoy a long break, I guess, for FC Dallas with the, them being at least kept that fast. All right, that's Instant Reaction 3 Things FC Dallas versus FC Juarez. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Well, no, never mind. You didn't enjoy the game. We'll talk again soon.